also known as D's Curve if you are new here. I post plus size fashion, travel, and lifestyle related videos. I definitely think you should hit that subscribe button. Today's video is going to be a healthy girl era video. I am in my healthy girl era, okay? I don't know what it is, but I'm just feeling so motivated, so energized to eat better, to get more movements in. And so I'm just like, let me just show you guys what that looks like for me. So this morning I woke up early and I actually went to the gym and I had an amazing workout. So I go to Goals Gym and um, they have a, a workout, like it's a group workout called Goals Fit. And it's basically a full body workout. Like we were doing burpees, well, I was struggling, but I was still doing them. I didn't vlog just because you guys, you probably will never see me like in the gym working out on camera because I just need to focus on what I'm doing, but I did go to the gym and then after the gym, I went to the grocery store. I feel like part of your healthy era, you gotta eat healthy. And this is actually my going into my second week of like this whole new healthy era. I started on the 1st of August and the first week went really well. I closed all of my rings on my Apple Watch. I hit my step goal, my calorie count goal, my stand goal, my movement goal, exercise goal, everything. Like, I am just feeling really, really good. Like, I'm just feeling good, and I'm not putting too much pressure on myself because I don't want to get overwhelmed, but I'm feeling good, and I just wanted to bring you guys with me. So I took a shower, did my skincare, and I'm really just gonna relax. Like, I had a long day, a long week, outside of like my healthy air and whatever. Work was very, very long. So I'm really just going to like put on some chill home clothes and just relax, but I wanted to come on and open the vlog, and so I'll be back when I'm back. <laughs> smoothie bowl but it's it's really just smoothie because all the toppings melted to the bottom and I really could just eat it with a straw but I want to be fancy I think I made the smoothie like too liquidy it probably needs to be a little bit thicker so it, I can actually like the consistency can be like eaten with a spoon because right now it's really just a regular smoothie but it tastes good um it tastes like a good smoothie so right now I'm just reading this book um called the purpose driven life it's definitely more of a religious book um to help you figure out what you're on earth for uh i feel like you know you have goals in your life and you're like trying to achieve those goals but it's like is that really your purpose i think i, I spoke about this on my get ready with me uh video in new orleans where i was talking about like your talents and your goals and living in your purpose and I've just been trying to like figure out what am I living in my purpose am I doing what I need 
like what I was placed on earth to do. Am I touching the people I should be touching? Am I reaching the people that I should be reaching? And I feel like that's all part of my healthy girl era, my healthy journey to just being a better me physically, but also mentally. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. I'm reading that. Part of, of that also includes like connecting with the people that I love. I'm, you guys, I'm such a loner. <laughs> I am such a loner. Sometimes my mom be like, oh, when was the last time you spoke to so-and-so? And I'm like, I'm like, mommy, outside of you and Rylean, <clears throat> I don't be on the phone. Like, those are the two people I speak to on the phone consistently. Outside of that, I just don't, I'm not a phone person. I don't really like being on the phone. And... I just stay by myself, but I can do a better job because there are a lot of people that I think about and I wonder like, oh, I wonder how they're doing or, you know, just to check in on them and I don't do it. So that was my auntie that she actually called me. This is my auntie on my dad's side and she called me and we were just chatting and she just, every time I talk to her, I feel so good because she's such a positive, loving person and she has such good energy. So we don't talk very, very often at all. But this little random call was just so special to me. So I'm going to continue eating my or drinking my smoothie. <laughs> Reading my book. And then I'm going to do meal prep for the week, which I'll take you guys with me. I am now in the kitchen and I'm getting ready to meal prep for the week. As much as I don't enjoy meal prepping, my week is so much easier and it's so much easier for me to like stay on my healthy journey when I meal prep because I don't have to think about what I'm eating. Like my snacks are in my lunch bag, my dinner is ready, my lunch is ready. Like it just takes away the, not the guessing game, but the like decisions. Because we make, I make so many decisions in a day. If I can like eliminate one other decision, like what I need to eat, that like makes my life so much, so much easier. For the month of August, I don't think I told you. So for the month of August, I am, I have three healthy uh, challenges that I'm doing. Three or four. So, okay, the first one is to read one chapter of The Purpose Driven Life every single day. Um, the book actually has 40 chapters and you can read like one chapter. The idea is for you to read one chapter a day. It's like a devotion, it's set up like a devotion. So to read one chapter a day and then to drink a gallon of water every single day. My bestie right here. A gallon of water every single day. The third one is to eat only plant-based foods. So I'm basically eating a vegan diet for the month of August. I'm already a vegetarian, so I don't eat meat, I only eat fish, but I also eat like dairy and like cheeses and eggs and stuff. And I feel like I just needed like a break. I just needed a break from it. This is not gonna be a long-term thing. It's just a challenge that I decided to do for the month of August. And then the final one, so I guess it's four, the final one, is to close all of my rings on my Apple Watch. So this watch stays on my hand, okay? And my rings, basically there's a movement ring, there's an exercise ring, and there's a stand ring. So basically for standing, I think I have to stand at least six hours of the day, like on, I have to, I can't, how does it work? I don't even know how the stand one works. But basically, at, for at least six hours, you have to be standing. Not like consecutively standing, but like you can't sit for 12 hours in a day. Like the watch will tell you time to stand, time to stand. So whatever that means, I'm doing that. And then the fitness or the exercise ring, it's, it's pretty low, but I'm starting off low. So I have to at least, I have to exercise for at least 30 minutes a day. That's every single day of the month, at least 30 minutes a day and I have to burn at least 700 calories a day. So that's like my four healthy things that I'm doing for the month of August. And I'm not really, I call it a challenge because it's obviously, it is a challenge because it's not what I usually do, but it's not difficult. It's like a fun challenge. Like I'm having a competition with myself. I'm the judge, I'm the jury. And it's just like, fulfilling a promise that I made to myself in the beginning of August and it has been fun so far. Today is the 
what day is it today is the 6th of august so i'm six days in i feel really really good i've been successful all six days i feel like i'm glowing i feel my stomach just feels not as bloated like i just feel good i feel really good so anyways that was a long montage like i was just talking for too long but i'm gonna meal prep and so for this week i'm keeping it very simple you guys i think i'm gonna have uh, tofu for my protein and just vegetables and uh, some lentils and then for dinner i'll probably do like big salads or like maybe like a, a chipotle style bowl and then for my snacks i'll do fruit so i have like i went grocery shopping yesterday so i have all the berries the oranges the apples so i'll do fruits for my snacks in between and then for breakfast i'll do a green smoothie so i think that's my um my plan for the week so let's do a quick little meal prep the good thing about this is meal prepping doesn't take me long so i'm hoping to be done in the next hour and a half so right now the time is hey siri what time is it It's 1.09 p.m. So I want to be done by 2.30. So let's get to it. And I know everybody says that, but okay, it is something that kind of takes some getting used to. So the first step I like to do is I like to wrap my tofu in some paper towel because it has a lot of water in there. It literally comes in a container with water. So I wrap it in some paper towel to like suck the water out of it. And then I dice it up like I would, um, I don't know maybe chicken however you cut up chicken or whatever but like i normally like cut it in squares or i don't know how however i feel like cutting it and then i season it the same way i would season chicken recently i've really been enjoying lemon pepper tofu so that's what we're making today so i just put it in like these little cubes. for a while so like the seasonings can go into the tofu so i just put it aside while i continue cooking when i'm ready to cook it i will cut up some like fresh onion on top and sprinkle a little bit of oil so it doesn't stick to the pan and i put that in the oven until my ancestors tell me it's time to take it out so this is like my tried and true tofu recipe I really really like it and I would recommend it if you have never cooked tofu before and you've wanted to try it lemon pepper tofu the same way you would cook or you would season lemon pepper chicken so yeah I forgot to mention earlier that I'm also gonna be making some quinoa so instead of rice I'm gonna use quinoa it is what it is okay <laughs> quinoa is nothing to write home about it's nothing grand, nothing great, but it's a good substitute for rice. Now, rice is vegan. You know, it's from a grain, so I could potentially eat rice. And I'm not, like, not eating rice. But I just felt like this week I didn't want to have any, any rice. So I'm going to do quinoa. Hey, it is 
2.20. 2.20 and everything, I'm done cooking. Everything is just like on the stove or in the oven. So I feel good. I'm just gonna tidy up the kitchen, thankfully. I clean as I go, so the kitchen is not really a mess. So I'm tidy up the kitchen and then, what am I gonna do after? I actually, I'm gonna braid my hair, I think. I'm gonna braid my hair. But that'll probably be like a separate video on its own. So yeah, everything looks good. Everything I've tasted so far tastes good. So. You guys, I, it took me a while. It took me a while to get a routine that works for me. I was definitely trying to go to the gym in the morning, like, you know, be a 5 a.m. girly, go to the gym and then, you know, head out to work. But that just didn't work out for me. That didn't work out for me, especially like when I have my natural hair out, it takes way too long to get my hair like unbraid it and get my hair done and then I have to I really want to spend time doing my devotion that takes about 20 minutes to really read and like digest what I'm reading do a little journaling I don't want to be rushed so it's like if I go to the gym let's say I go to the gym for about 45 minutes right I wake up at 5 the gym is 10 minutes from my house get to the gym by 5 10, 5, 15, because really I have to get ready to go to the gym. So most likely I'll get to the gym by 5, 15, work out for 45 minutes, that's already six o'clock. By the time I get home, when I come from the gym, I need to shower, so I shower, then I go do my devotion. By the time I'm like doing my devotion, it's already 7.30, like, and I have to work at eight. So it just, it makes me too rushed. I would have to wake up way too early to do that. And I just don't think it's necessary. So I go to the gym in the afternoon. Like as long as I'm getting the workout in, that's all that matters, right? Y'all, my sunscreen is done. So I'm using this little travel size one that's basically also done. So I definitely need to re-up on my sunscreen because this is my favorite one, tried and true. I really, really like it. So I'm gonna go just for work and then I'm gonna pack my breakfast and my lunch and my snacks for the day. Um, I did a braid out today, you guys. So I braided my hair instead of twisted it. I don't know why I decided to do that. Like, I never did that before. So I don't know why I chose to do that. So let's hope and pray it comes out okay. So let's get dressed really quickly and then I'll take my hair out. I usually hang my clothes the night before on this little hook from my closet to make my life easier. I am wearing this dress and I will wear a blazer over it. But to take my hair out, I always put a little bit of oil on my hands so that my fingers don't snag and to minimize Frizz, I don't even know if my hair is dry, you guys, because I definitely did these braids last night. 
<sighs> pray for me, y'all. Pray for this twist out. I mean, this braid out. So this is how my hair turned out. To be honest, if I wasn't going to work, I would probably be able to wear it this way. But I feel like by about noon, my hair is just gonna be one big Afro puff. So unfortunately, I think I may have to put it in a ponytail, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to put my hair in a ponytail because it's, I know my hair. If the curls are not defined enough, it's just gonna be one big poof. So let's put it in a ponytail and be done. So this is my little ponytail. I think I'm gonna leave the twisties out a bit, because why not? I also have this little headband that I think I'm gonna put on as well to just make it look like I tried a little bit. <laughs> what do you guys think? I think it's okay. I look like a kid, but it's all right. Okay, I'm gonna go pack my breakfast, my food for the day, and my, my gym bag, and then we'll be out of here. You see, this is why I can't go to the gym in the morning because I would have been late, late, late to work. my healthy morning routine y'all I am a little late to work I haven't gonna hold you because filming made my morning routine go take so much longer than I usually do but I have my lunch bag I have my gallon of water I got my gym bag I am set up for success okay I am excited for the day it's gonna be a great day cuz I said so period okay anyways you guys have a wonderful day i'll see you guys after work when we get to the gym workout is done i feel so good look at the sweat okay this is real sweat I closed all of my rings I'm feeling good okay I am feeling great actually <sighs> it's something about a good sweat it's gonna have you feeling good okay good because you achieved the goal you said what you, you did what you said you was gonna do but good because it's the endorphins I love it here Okay, y'all, so I'm home and I am feeling so, so good. Like, let me see if I can show you guys that I closed all of my rings. Like, who is she? She's me. I'm that girl. I'm that girl. Anyways, for dinner, I'm going to make a huge salad. Basically, just throw whatever I have in the fridge into a bowl. And for protein, I'm going to... I have these uh, Beyond Meat Burgers or patties. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this as my protein. I, don't, I try not to eat too much of these like processed meat substitutes because they're very high in salt. But for today, I'll just have this. So um, it's frozen, so what I'm gonna do is basically like take it out of the, the container, put it on the stove on like really, really, really low heat, and then I'm gonna go take a shower, do my nighttime routine, put on my PJs, like it is 7.39 and I'm putting on my PJs, okay? So I'm gonna go take a bath, a shower, I always say a bath, because in Dominica, like we just always say bath, but it's not really a bath because I don't get in the bathtub. Although, I kinda wanna get in the bathtub because my, bo my body's kinda sore, and I wouldn't, I feel like I should take a little Epsom salt bath, but I have some things to do outside of, um, I have some things to do this evening, so I probably won't be able to take a bath this evening. So I'm gonna take a nice shower, clean up myself, put on my PJs, and then come back and make my salad. I have my 
salad and I'm all clean, all shower and everything and I'm about to go eat my salad and relax, you guys. I also finished my gallon. Oh, I have a little bit left. Now I finished my gallon, okay? So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed spending some healthy time with me. I'll see you in the next one. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Bye.